Let us do question number 4. In question number 4 we have Obtain the volume of rectangular boxes with the following length, breadth and height respectively. So we have to obtain the volume of rectangular boxes whose length, breadth and height is given here. Our key point here will be that volume is equal to length into breadth into height. So we will solve the first part. In the first part volume will be length into breadth into height length is 5a into breadth is 3a square and height is 7a raised to power 4 so here the volume will be multiplying the number part we will have 5 into 3 into 7 into a into a square into a to the power 4 this is equal to 5 3 is 15, 15 7 is 105 and a to the power this will become 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is the volume in the first case, 105 a raised to power 7. In the second part, length is 2p, breadth is 4q and height is 8r. So let us find the volume here. Volume here is length into breadth into height so 2p into 4q into 8r this is equal to 2 into 4 into 8 into p into q into r this is equal to 2 4 is a 8 8 is a 64 into pqr so 64 pqr is the volume in the second case let us find the volume in the third part. In the third part, length is xy, breadth is 2x square y, and height is 2xy squared. So here our volume will be. Volume here is xy into 2x square y into 2xy square. So finding the volume here, keeping the like terms together. So first we will write the numerical coefficients that is 2 into 2 then we'll write the x terms x into x square into x then we have the y terms y into y into y square which is equal to 2 to the 4 and x becomes x to the power 4 and y becomes y to the power 4 so this is the volume in the third case 4x to the power 4, y to the power 4. This is the fourth part. In the fourth part, length is a, breadth is 2b, and height is 3c. So, finding the volume here, volume is length into breadth into height. That means a into 2b into 3c. And here, keeping the numbers together, that is 2 into 3 into a into b into c that makes it equal to 6 abc so in the fourth part the volume is 6 abc let us do question number five vasudevan invested rupees 60000 at an interest rate of 12 percent per annum compounded half yearly so vasudevan invested rupees 60000 at an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded half yearly, what amount would he get after 6 months and after 1 year? So we have a person by the name of Vasudevan. He is investing rupees 60,000 at an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded half yearly. What amount would he get after 6 months and after 1 year? So in this question, our principal is equal to rupees 60,000. So principal here is 60,000 and the rate of interest here is 12% per annum compounded half yearly. So rate here is 12% and it is given here that this is compounded half yearly. So this is an important step that when it is given that the compound interest is compounded half yearly, it becomes 12 by 2 which becomes 6%. So this is our important point here. 
when it is given that the compound interest is compounded half yearly, then we have to divide the rate of interest by 2. So here the rate of interest becomes 6%. Also, what we have to find here is that what amount would he get after 6 months. Now, for our first part, time period N will be because the compound interest is compounded half yearly and 6 months means 1 half year. So we will take our N as 1 year. This is important here. So when the compound interest is compounded half yearly, rate is halved and time period is taken as 1 for 6 months and if we have 1 year, then we will take N is equal to 2 because in one year we have two half years. But for the time being, now we will solve the first part and what we have to calculate here is the amount. First we will solve the first part. So all this we are doing for solving our first part. So we know that amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R by 100 divided by N. So this is equal to, for principal we will write 60,000 and 1 plus rate we will take here as 6 divided by 100 and for the first case n is equal to 1. So this implies from here that amount is equal to 60,000 into this will become, if we take 100 as our LCM, so this will become 100 plus 6. So this implies from here that amount is equal to 60,000 multiplied by 106 divided by 100. So two zeros cancel here. And this will imply here that amount will come as when this is calculated, it comes as rupees 63,600. So this is our answer for the first part. Amount is rupees 63,600. For the second part, principal remains same. It is 60,000. Rate as we have discussed earlier, we have halved the rate. So the rate becomes 6% and the time was one year. That is why we are taking n is equal to 2, as in one year we have two half years. So from here, once again applying the formula of amount, amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r by 100 whole raised to power n. So from here, writing the principal as 60,000, taking the principal as 60,000, 1 plus rate. Now rate is 6 divided by 100 whole to the power 2. So this will become 60,000 into 100 plus 6 divided by 100 whole power 2. And this becomes equal to, here we have 60,000 multiplied by, this becomes 106 divided by 100 square. So that will become 106 divided by 100 into 106 divided by 100. These are four zeros here. These four zeros will cancel with this. And this comes out as rupees 67,416. So this is our answer for the second part. Question number seven. Using a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b, find. So here we have four parts and we have to find the values making use of the identity a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Let us do this. Let us do the first part. In the first part we have to evaluate 51 square minus 49 square. So this will be equal to Making use of the formula a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b. So this becomes 51 minus 49 into 51 plus 49. This becomes equal to 51 minus 49 is 2 and 51 plus 49 is 100. 
So that means 2 into 100 is 200. 200 is the answer for the first part. Let us do the second part. Here also we will make use of the formula of a square minus b square. Let 1.02 as a and 0 0.98 as b. Now this will be equal to a minus b means 1.02 minus 0 0.98. This is a minus b and a plus b is 1.02 plus 0 0.98. And this is simplified as 1.02 minus 0 0.98 is 0 0.04 multiplied by 1.02 plus 0.98. This becomes 2. So 0 0.04 into 2 is 0 0.08. This is our answer for the second part. In the third part, we have to find 153 square minus 147 square here. Taking 153 as A and 147 as B and A square minus B square is A minus B into A plus B. So this will become 153 minus 147 into 153 plus 147. This becomes equal to 153 minus 147 is 6 and 153 plus 147 is 300 and 6 into 300 is 1800 so 1800 is our answer here. In the fourth part we have to find 12.1 whole square minus 7.9 whole square here we will take 12.1 as our A and this is our A and 7.9 as our B. Making use of formula A square minus B square is equal to A minus B into A plus B. So this becomes equal to 12.1 minus 7.9 into 12.1 plus 7.9 and this becomes equal to so this is 20.0 multiplied by 4.2. So this becomes equal to 84. So 84 is our answer here. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.